Plans for British police to train their Saudi counterparts in the techniques of high-tech crime detection are scandalous. That's according to human rights group Reprieve. Campaigners have expressed concerns that Saudi authorities will use the training to hunt down and torture activists. Officials say they are aware of potential problems, but they believe the scheme will help to prevent miscarriages of justice. Well, the UK's close relationship with the Saudis was debated today in Westminster in light of reports by Amnesty International that UK-made cluster bombs have been used by the Saudi-led coalition in its attacks in Yemen. MPs called on the government to drop their lucrative arms deals with the kingdom. We should also be taking a tougher stance towards the country's foreign policy. As a major trading partner with billions of pounds worth of weapons sold each year, the UK should be bolder in its approach. The Minister will no doubt contest that our relationship with Saudi is crucial in securing both global and domestic security, and that the intelligence we receive has helped to foil terror attacks. We cannot, however, continue to trade off our responsibilities like this. With a growing humanitarian crisis in Yemen and mounting reports indicating that international humanitarian law has been seriously and repeatedly breached by all parties engaged in warfare in the country, including the Saudi-led coalition, the government needs to get its head out of the sand. The government's judgment remains that a strong relationship with Saudi Arabia helps us to keep this country both prosperous and safe, and that is working with Saudi Arabia that we can encourage the changes we would like to see in that country. David Cameron has allowed the sale of weapons and fighter jets to Saudi Arabia worth more than £6.5 billion since becoming Prime Minister, including more than £2.5 billion worth since the bombing of Yemen began. A UN report says that Saudi airstrikes have targeted civilians in more than 100 sorties since March last year that violated international law. These include attacks on hospitals, schools and wedding parties. Well, for more on this, I'm now joined by Jamie Kerr. He is a human rights lawyer. Jamie, look, it may be unpalatable to some, but of course the UK benefits from its close relationship with Saudi Arabia. So surely there's nothing wrong with working alongside the kingdom to, to ensure that best practice is carried out. I think having a special relationship with Saudi Arabia is very important to Britain, but I also consider that that close relationship allows us to raise issues, difficult issues like human rights. One of the challenges with the, the arms deals and the police training, etc., is that some of the skills and techniques that the British are teaching the Saudis will ultimately, some say, be used to torture people, and that can't be right. But the UK authorities are saying if that does happen, then they will revisit the whole training programme altogether. And the very fact that they are, they can monitor this to make sure that doesn't happen. I think the College of Policing have already recognised that a very real risk of the training programme is that the skills will be used to torture people. So we're moving on from crime scene investigation type skills onto f skills such as tracking mobile phone devices, use, use of CCTV, stuff that the Saudis will ultimately use at home um, against dissidents such as the, the Shia minority in the eastern province. So, so you don't have any faith or confidence that the British presence there will actually prevent any miscarriage of justice? No, I think the British are very realistic that miscarriages of justice, torture, inhumane degrading treatment are all very real risks of the work that we're doing with the Saudis. I think trade and good diplomatic relationship have been placed above human rights considerations. And that's very saddening, given that the entire point of police cooperation is to promote human rights. Of course, uh, talking about maybe diplomacy being put above human rights, diplomacy is very important, particularly when we're dealing with Saudi Arabia. If perhaps we lost relations with them, not only would it hit our economy, thanks to the trade, and admittedly there's a lot of uh, money earned from the arms trade, but also our security interests, because there's a lot of cooperation against anti-terrorism with Saudi Arabia. So we could actually compromise our situation on both sides, security and economy, if we didn't actually cooperate with Saudi Arabia. I think that's one argument, and I think we can cooperate with Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia are a key strategic partner and will continue to be so, but we have to have the tough conversations with them, and they do listen, they will listen. If we are raising human rights and if we are holding back skills that they want and need, then 
it's arguable that the, that the Saudis will come round to listen and will change. Change isn't going to happen overnight, but it's certainly not going to happen on the human rights front if we're not talking about it and raising it time and time okay, again. Okay, so there is a, a sense of vague optimism from you that actually this could work. In fact, the Saudi authorities could listen to what the British have to say over human rights issues. They, they could if the human rights issues are raised. The, the concern we have here with the police cooperation is that the police cooperation is going ahead in relation to skills that the Saudis need and will use in relation to crushing internal dissent amongst their own it's, it's minorities. It's specifically for that, do you think? That really is the specific aim. This isn't all about simple crime detection. I think the programme so far has been about crime detection. Moving forward, the, the skills such as mobile phone encryptions and these types of things are known and are recognised by the British authorities to be skills that will be used on people who will ultimately be tortured. The British authorities are very clear on that, but are overlooking that um, on the basis that a diplomat good diplomatic relationship and a better trade relationship with Saudi Arabia is more important than human rights abuses. And that cannot be right. Really interesting to hear your thoughts on this. Thank you very much indeed, Jamie, for joining us here Thank you, Bill. on RTUK. Jamie Kerr there.